Hello everyone, in today's video I'm gonna talk about money. There are three things that's most important to a human's life is love, health, and money. But this video is not gonna be me telling you how to manage your money, but simply just sharing my experience and understanding. People might have limited belief that set up the barriers of them to increase their income or they are struggling with their spending habits. So the first step is to set up a positive relationship with money. And how are you gonna do that is to write down all of your belief of money and understand it. For example, money is a tool that I can use towards to my goal. Or the most common argument is that can money buy you happiness? And everyone have their own opinion on this statement, but it depends on our goals and values towards money that set up our beliefs. And here are some money habits that I use is to save before spending. Set a reasonable budget of your paycheck before you start spending it for the month. For example, start with something that's very small like 10 bucks and then later on once you're more comfortable with it, increase it to a few hundred and then later on increase it to a few thousand if that's what you're capable of. But the goal is to try to save something every month. And with me saying that, it's not me telling you, oh, don't spend any money, don't buy coffee or don't eat out, don't go out. That's not what I meant, but it's just to set a budget so you are mindful of your spending so that create an awareness and mindfulness of what's your spending habit like. So by the end of the month, you're not going to be surprised like, oh wow, I spent 400 bucks on eating out. So a way to create awareness and mindfulness is to track down every spending. So what I do is I will group all of my monthly payment into a category such as like rent, Wi-Fi, phone bill subscription all those all those things into one group and then i will use my income to subtract this um monthly payment and then what i have left would be what i am capable of spending but i will set another budget through this number so then whatever i have left through that budget will towards to my saving and then what i spend left from my budget will also towards to my saving but the key here is to track every spending or payment and it is going to be scary and it's going to create anxiety for you to pull out your bank list to see every transaction that you spend but this is how we get clarity and create that mindfulness on our spending now that i have my savings i will use part of that savings toward to an investment but i'm not talking about go buying stocks or like bitcoins or all those type of things but to invest in yourself like what Alex Hermosi would say, instead of investing in S&P 500, invest in S&Me 500. People who are financially satisfied spend at least 10% of their incomes towards personal development. This could be books, audiobooks, course, coaches, anything, you name it. But they will use a good amount of their income towards to themselves. And that will lead them to a new school and which will lead them to a better high income job. So the first step is to create awareness on your spending. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.